Hi, welcome back to the Praxis Test Prep channel. My name is Tasha. I'm a former high school biology teacher, and today I'm going to walk you through some questions for the Praxis exam 5857. That includes both health and physical education. This subtopic is content knowledge and student growth and development. Okay, let's get started. Okay, question one. Terry is spending more time thinking about his legacy in life. Integrity and moral concerns are also now a top priority. What stage of physical development is Terry most likely in? So our options are early adulthood, middle adulthood, senescence, and adolescence. This is really the definition of what senescence is. So senescence in by definition is when you're going to have those deeper thoughts and you're going to be thinking about your legacy in life. And so Terry is going to be in that senescence phase. So our answer is going to be C, senescence. Question two, what is the height of the net in a standard volleyball game with female players? So with female players, we have that height set at seven feet, 4.125 inches. But let's, add, let's see if they ask about males. So in males, since males are a little bit taller than females, that height is going to be set at seven feet, 11.625 inches. And as a reminder, if they ask about more with volleyball, there you have the net. And in each side of the net, we have courts that are going to contain two lines of six players on each side of the court. Question three, what is the typical start age for puberty in females? That is going to be 12 years old. This is when we see hormone production really start to ramp up and females need more calories. And you're going to see that if they're going to ask about more about that puberty, puberty typically lasts in women about four years. So that's a little bit more about that. Question four, how is the liver involved in muscle metabolism during exercise? So just a reminder that that liver stores the glycogen. And when you exercise a lot, that glycogen is going to be going to be broken down into glucose. And that glucose is going to be then used for cellular respiration. So A, it says the liver stores glycogen, which is quickly used as a backup when muscle cells use all that ATP and CP reserves during exercise. So that is actually what happens during exercise. It's using that ATP or that energy in all the cells, and we need to use this reserve glycogen as a backup method. So A is our correct answer. I hope this was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, head over to study.com to check out our other videos. As a study.com member, you get access to hundreds of practice problems like the ones I just walked you through, as well as targeted instruction for some topics you might still be struggling with, along with some test-taking strategies to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if today's video was helpful. In the comments down below, please let us know if there's topics you'd like us to cover next. Good luck and happy studying!